Indiana is Spear with the Red Carpet Report. Tonight we are in Beverly Hills for the 10th Annual Television Academy Honours. Hi, how are you? I'm good, how are you doing? Today? I'm good. So how does it feel to be here? Uh, it's, it's amazing. I can't believe our show has been honoured. We've been getting so much great recognition for the show from the disabled community, uh, communities that don't have disabled family members. Um, people on Twitter have been saying it seems like you're spying on our family. You guys are representing us so well. Uh, and, and hearing that lets me know that I have been representing my part of the disabled community perfectly, spot on on television, which is, which it, it's a good feeling, you know, it's, it's making, it's putting a smile on these people's faces. We're, we're a show that is making history by taking risks that some shows might be afraid, might be too afraid to take. Um, and, and, and we're putting smiles on people's faces, making them cry, laugh, cry and laugh at the same time. It's, it's awesome. It's, it's mind-blowingly awesome. And what do you think it is about this show that really relates to social issues nowadays? Um, inclusion. Inclusion is such a big deal right now. I'm actually, uh, I'm working with a charity that their number one purpose is inclusion for disabled, uh, for the disabled community. Um, I'm working with them by creating, um, uh, playgrounds, they have like 60 playgrounds all over the world that are designed for people with wheelchairs or sensory challenges. Um, they they don't use things like sand or wood chips to make it accessible for people in wheelchairs or walkers. Um, and so I've been to a few grand openings of those. And then we go into um, classes of uh, typically abled kids and ask them how they feel about people with disabilities before we show them a video. And then after, their, their opinions and ideas completely change and it's, it's an amazing thing to be a part of because I'm changing these kids' ideas and letting them know that they're just like any of us and that they can, they're awesome too. Like, I'm, I fell in love with Micah from the moment I met him. We're like brothers, we're so close. Uh, it's amazing. it's so such close. an amazing cause. Yeah. What, do you, what would you say you've learned the most from your character? Um, that I'm really good at voice cracking. They, they make my voice crack so much. Also, hitting puberty right in the middle of filming really helped. I think they kind of took advantage of that. They kind of took advantage of me a little bit in that. Um, Is that your voice actually cracking? Oh, yes. Okay. Yeah. It's, it's, right, it's right in the middle of changing. What do you think your final voice is going to be like? It's going to be really low? I, I'm, I'm hoping it's low, but not too low. Uh, you know what I mean? Can you sing? No. No, they make me sing on the show even though I can't sing. They also make me dance on the show, which I cannot dance, and they keep doing it. But, I mean, it's fun to do. Maybe you'll become a better singer when your voice actually breaks, right? Oh, oh I, I, mean, I hope not, because I'm, I'm just not a singer. I'm sure you're great. Thank you. Appreciate Thank you so much for talking to us. Yeah, no problem. So nice to meet you. Thank you so much for watching this video. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe for more interviews. And we'd love to know in the comments down below, what is the TV show that moves you the most?